Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sonic Rai 9, and welcome to effectively a brand new playthrough. Let's play, maybe. We'll see. Um, this is Lego Racers 2. Now, you guys may remember a while back, I did. I did actually a two. I think I did two playthroughs of the first Lego Racers, because I like that game so much. One of which, which was on the original PlayStation, and the other, I did a playthrough on the N64. And, um, well, I figured, with the announcement and the eventual release of the brand new LEGO 2K Drive game that's coming out very, very soon, I figured it's time to uh, check out a game that I haven't played in such a long while, being LEGO Racers 2, and um, I have got some memories on this game, I remember liking it as a kid, um, and um, I played the game on the PC um, originally, so uh, you know, who knows, maybe the memories will come flooding back and I'll like this, or I may not, who knows. But anyway, just like the original LEGO Racers, we get to customise our person. And if I remember correctly, yeah, it's just as I remember, there's barely any options. So, tell you what we're going to do. We go for this, and we are going to... We'll go for this. We're just going to call our guy SR9. There's not that many options. Uh, okay, it'll be an Arctic racer. We'll go for that, and then we'll give him. Yeah, we'll give him that. There we go. It's good enough, I suppose. Okay, SR9, if you're going to be Galactic Racing Champion, you are going to need a car. You can borrow one of my cars if you are in a hurry, or we can build a really cool one together. Right, let's go. So yeah, just like LEGO Racers 1, you can build your own car, or you can have a pre-built car. For this first one, we are actually going to attempt to try and build something that looks kind of cool. Kind of being the, uh, the important word here. <laughs> Go for... Also, something to note. Um, if you look on the on the bottom left there, that tells you how many bricks you're allowed to use. Once all that runs out, that's it. I won't be able to build any more on my car here. As you can tell, I am not the most creative person in the world. <laughs> No watch.
these pieces are really not that great, I'm going to be 100% real here. You know what, a couple of flags. There we go. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> it is. Would you like me to store your new car in my garage? Sure. She's awesome, buddy. Nice. All right, Sandy Bay. <laughs> so, some things I do remember about this game. This game is not like the first game where it's a, like a traditional circuit-based... Um, right then, SR9. Your first job is to learn how to control your car. Use R2 to go faster. Use L2 to stop. And use square to reverse. Drive around for a bit to get the hang of it. God, you talk slow. Follow the green arrow and meet me at the beach. See you there. Right, and we're off. Right. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. There we go. There we go, now I can use the analog stick. So yeah, as you can see, this is kind of an open world Lego racing game. Hey, nice driving, SR9. Now follow the arrow back into town. I hear there's a bit of a commotion going on. Yeah, this is a very much a, quite a different LEGO Racing game compared to LEGO Races 1, where the first game was very much like just straight up like Mario Kart. This has got a bit of, I don't want to say Diddy Kong Racing to it, but it's got an open world area that's kind of a precursor to what we would be eventually getting in a LEGO, LEGO 2 k Drive. Since I bought my new digger, I'm the fastest racer on Sandy Bay. Not a chance. In my post van, I've learned the streets like the back of my hand. But it's my job to get around Sandy Bay as fast as possible. Me too, but my 4x4 police car is faster than your fire engine. So that makes me the fastest racer. No, no, I'm the fastest racer, and I'll take on all challenges. Hey guys, when did you last see a digger win a race? Ha 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 ha! Ha! You couldn't even beat SR9. Shut up, you guys. I'm so confident I'll even give SR9 a golden brick if I lose. Hey, SR9. Meet me over by the construction site and we'll have a race. Okay, but who ever heard of a digger winning a race? Why, I gotta... So if you see on the top left, you'll see those five bricks, which are used to give us a boost every single time our vehicle loses pieces. Um, you will see what I mean when we go into our first race here. Oh God, look out! <laughs> right, where are you? Hello! Alright, you're here. Let's ride. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so here we are with our first race against the construction worker. As soon as it loads. Yes, in case you guys are wondering, I'm playing this through my PlayStation 3, so... 
Let's hope the game runs fine. And away we go. Out of my way. Out of my way. So yeah, another thing that's quite different compared to LEGO Races 1. The races all take place on the open world environment and are in fact checkpoint races instead of regular races. So, um, hopefully you learn the environment inside and out because a lot of these tracks are taking place on... Whee! Um, so I hope you learn the environment inside and out because if you, have, if you don't, you are might struggle on these race tracks. So I'll be honest, these first few races aren't too bad, quite honestly. Because like I said, you're racing again. You are. Um, racing again. And here we go, first race done, and we are victorious against the former. Oh darn it, that's impossible. How did you beat my new digger? Aha, that's so funny. Funny, huh? Why don't you challenge SR9? Okay then, SR9. Come and meet me over by the post office. I'll give you a real run. Okay, posting. Continue. All right. So first race down. Like I said, as a kid, I remember playing this quite a bit, but this game, in my honest opinion, isn't as memorable of a game compared to the first game. The first game, I remember nearly every single track and every single champion that you went up against. But in this game, like, you've got Mike the Postman. And sure, it is cool to have an open environment where, you know, you're playing as your own character, you're racing against these, champ these guys. I was going to say champions, but these aren't champions. These are just jobs. People. <laughs> I don't think you face off against proper champions until you get to the second world. Where you have actual like, boss races. Right, posting. Out of my way. So yeah, that's another thing that's really kind of cool about this game. Is that when you take damage... Pieces of your car do start to fall apart. Which is really cool and quite innovative of the time. You know, and who knows, maybe some of this mechanic is, is um, getting brought back into the uh, 2K drive. I would love to see something like that. So far, doing really well. By the way, guys, in case you've been wondering sort of why I haven't been uploading anything lately, uh, this is the reason why I remember it's not exactly like the control of Lego Racing 2. It's so sick. But, um, in case you've been wondering why I have sort of kind of off, on and been on and off of uh, making videos lately, it's because I 
A, I haven't been feeling too well. Maybe. And B, um, work. Yeah, I have been very busy with my job as of late. Working at an arcade, believe it or not. I may have already told this story before, but you know, you're hearing it now. I work at an arcade and um, it takes up a lot of my time. Uh, unfortunately, and because of that, I am not really able to focus on YouTube as much as I want to. So, because of that, it's going to be pretty much sort of whenever I get the chance to uh, to make videos, upload them. That'll be sort of when I you know, get to do the but anyway, we beat Mike the Postman. <coughs> All right, Fireman Gavin is challenging me to another race. But yeah, for this first for this first area, it is just against four races, each with a different like regular sort of city vehicle. So obviously we've had the construction worker for the first race. We've had the postman for the second race. We're about to take on uh fireman guy over here, fireman Sam. And um Then uh, I believe we've got the police in the last Ah, SR9. You're, you're brave enough to come and challenge me. Let's race. You know, I'm starting to feel very confident. Race number three. By the way, guys, this won't be a 100% playthrough. I am mainly just playing this. You son of a biscuit. Okay. Right, okay, he's giving us a real, an actual challenge now. Let's see if he can keep his lead. There you go, taste this, mate. Aha, I hit him. I'm slowly catching him up. He is in a fire engine. So that trick is what I like to call um, missile surfing. If you hold the um, the fire button while using that item, you actually ride the missile, and it re it gets you a good amount of speed. Speed for um, 
Okay, right. And he's really, really useful. Right. Take that, I did. Oh, yeah. Well, no worries. Slow him down, but I'm away. There we go. Get out of there. Ha <laughs> in your face. I caused you to slide. Wow, I really messed him up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I really messed him up if you look at the bottom right. That little white dot is him. Holy cow, wow. Victory. Ah! I really wanted to enter the Galactic Racing Championship. Now it's down to either you or the policeman. That's right. Meet me at the police station and we'll see who's going to be Sandy Bay's greatest racer. So yeah, for this first episode, we're, we're going to do a longer episode. Just focused on completing all of the... Uh, Races. There we are. Big station. Mate. Hang on, SR9. I'll just bring my car around. You'll never defeat me, I'm afraid. I'll be Sandy Bay's representative at the Galactic Racing Championship. Maybe, but didn't you think I'd lose to the postman? God, the text is so slow. I completely forgot how slow the text w scrolling was for, like, dialogue in this game. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, this isn't the only LEGO game I'm going to be playing to uh, celebrate the new one that's coming out. So, um... Stay tuned to my channel, because uh, there will be other LEGO games that I will be checking out. And it's going to be all mainly sort of the older style LEGO games. We're not going to be playing stuff like LEGO Batman or LEGO Dimensions or whatever. At least not yet, anyway. We're going to be mainly focusing on some of the older games. So just bear that in mind. Um, as I meet this below police. And fire! Take that. Yeah. That is such a good trick, seriously. Ah! Sorry, mate. Take that, policeman. Like I said in the past, as much as I do have nostalgia for 
for this game, and as much as I feel like... I don't think this game is as first... As first? As good as the first LEGO races. I still enjoyed this game enough. Oh, heck, what was that? There's a homing missile that went all the way around. What the heck? And, you know, I've played this game quite a lot as a kid on my, on my um, Windows XP viewer. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Windows XP computer as a child that I borrowed off from my dad. And that sort of became my main, main thing I played games on. Outside of my, my uh, PlayStation screen. And, uh, yeah, but also, believe it or not, I never had a Nintendo system until the GameCube. And that was like, around the time of the I never had an Nintendo system before. So. Yeah. By the way, I do apologize if my commentary isn't exactly exciting at the moment, but as you can see, I'm currently winning by quite a sizable percentage. And there's not much going on at the moment. But this track is kind of kind of like showing you sort of the whole environment again, just showing you, showing you all of the, uh, the boxes like houses that are great again. No way! That makes you the best racer on Sandy Bay! I don't believe it! That was great, SR9! This means you're going to be the one to go to X, X lap and challenge Rocket Racer. I know there's another way you pronounce it. But I can't really it. Cool! When do I leave? Not just yet, buddy. Rocket Racer has the fastest supercar in the galaxy has ever seen. So you'll need to practice if you're go gonna beat me. How am I going to do that? Well, there are race meetings being held on the LEGO world surrounding Sandy Bay. If you go there and win those races, it should convince Rocket Racer that you're a worthy opponent. Okay, so how do I get to these other worlds? You know those golden bricks you'll got for winning those races. Yes. Well, if you collected enough of those, you can visit those the other world and take part in the races. I see. To make a journey to one of the other Lego worlds, you'll need to find jump point located around the coast of Sandy Bay. Dino Island is pretty cheap to travel to. Go and find the jump point and see if you have enough golden bricks to get there. Okay, wish me luck. Hey, you don't need luck, SR9. You've already proved, it, proved it to everyone on Sandy Bay that you, you're, a great, you're a great racer. Now get out there, buddy, and make me proud. Huzzah. <laughs> right, well, that was fun. And um, this is a pretty good point to end our first episode on I say I think just to finish up we're just going to travel to the Dino Island there's the Zalax portal that's why it's called the Zalax not x -Lax. Zalax yeah x is uh, oh god no 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 <laughs> alright Let's check to make sure we can go there. 
Hiya, SR9. You've got enough gold bricks to go to Dino Island. Would you like to go? And we will find out what I say next time. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time where we will travel to Dino Island. See you all then.